Camacho here, the working bass hunter, with another video on how you can be a better duck and goose hunter. Today I wanted to share something with you that's helped me out in the field. Uh, it's a free tool it's available to anybody. It's something I use at work all day, every day, but it's available to anybody to download. It's called Google Earth. Let's get in the truck and I'm going to show you how I have it set up mobile in my vehicle so I can go out and scout and look for, a, for a ducks and geese. What I have is I have my trusty laptop here powered up and ready to go. Um, connected to, to my phone, I have an Android, an Android phone. It's an old Android X. I've had it for a couple years. It has a tethering app on it. It's a free tethering app you can download from the Google Play Store um, that allows me to connect to the internet and have it on my laptop. Or if you just pay a few extra dollars, uh, most carriers um, have a, a Wi-Fi hotspot connectivity ability. That allows your phone to transmit a Wi-Fi signal just like your home router would you'll be able to connect directly without any wires I don't want to pay that extra dollar so I hook up a wire and it allows me to go what I have with me also is I have a power inverter that I take with me it's a little plug into the cigarette lighter single plug allows me to plug right my computer right into here give me continuous power source um, because sometimes I use more than one device I went out and spent a, uh, about thirty dollars and bought one that has three power outlets plus a USB uh, ability to charge a phone and it also has a little handy dandy little extra cigarette lighter plug there so, so I'm not tying up my cigarette lighter so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start my truck here so that we there we don't kill the battery while I'm running all this uh, now my power power supply to my computer is going um, we're gonna we're gonna I already have Google Earth downloaded it's a free app available at earth.google.com I have my wireless mouse here I'm gonna fire up Google Earth um, and I use this out in the field I'm completely mobile with internet service available so Google Earth is live in real time and I'll be able to scout out places so I'll hop in my truck first thing in the morning when the geese are flying when the ducks are flying drive around looking for places using Google Earth to uh, to navigate around um, so you can see right here what I got is I got Google Earth playing and uh, you're gonna see as part of this video my son and I out doing the same thing and we went out and we looked for some honkers uh, to do a little hunting and you can see here as we zoom in here on the live version of Google Earth I marked uh, some honkers so we looked for some cornfields here on Google Earth as you get playing around with Google Earth, you become a master with it, learn how to play with it, how to use it, what all the little things do. And so I just looked for fields that looked like cornfields. So we had a nice row of fields right here, nice and perfect square. You can tell that they, they, they farm those. Um, and so we went out and drove out to those fields, and sure enough, we found some honkers. Uh, so I marked that there, I put a little pin, just like that, hit the pin, it puts a place mark, you can move that place mark around, title it what it is you want to title it. I titled it Honkers, bang, there we go. Now we're all set up, I've marked where I've had, where I've seen some honkers. Now, now, now I'm doing this first thing in the morning when the honkers are flying, when the ducks are flying. So that way there I see where they're going to, I can mark on Google Earth where they're at, I can go back to my house, I can plan a trip. See one of the most important thing about hunting ducks and geese is location. You got to be where the birds are going to makes things a lot easier makes it a much more enjoyable hunt now when I go contact that landowner speak with them and get it all set up for me to go those birds are going there uh, or have been going there and so I'll be setting up there ready for them to come and that's what we do we have Google Earth completely mobile ready to go to go out on our scouting trips my son and I would go if we're not out hunting in a blind we're out scouting using Google Earth completely mobile so there it is. So take a look at this video about how my son and I was using it, saw some honkers, and then we'll have an upcoming video on how we had the day on that hunt. So tell us what we found. We found 21 geese over there. And that's a lot of good stuff. Because if we couldn't find them, we would have to be finding them tomorrow night. I don't know if we will, maybe. But we found us some geese. So we found us some geese this morning. We went out yeah. on a scouting trip. And probably can't see it out there in that uh, harvested cornfield. Uh, but just before those green barns out there, there's about 20 or so geese sitting out there feeding, enjoying themselves the morning. So we got out, got up this morning, got the old Google Earth with us. 
uh, on our laptop here so we can see where we're going using Google Earth to navigate around trying to find fields and stuff like that, places where they might be coming to and uh, come across these 20 geese. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go and talk to the landowner, see if we can't hunt him down and see if he won't be willing to let us go out there and do a little goose hunting uh, to help, uh, help control some goose population around this area. So there we are, we got our Google Earth, we got our trusty binoculars, and uh, John and I just found some geese out here. Uh, so let's take a look and see what happens. There they are, right there. We uh, put this up to the binoculars so you can take a look. Some geese right out there. And uh, we're gonna go talk to the landowner and see if we can't find find those geese uh, a new home in our freezer. What do you say about that, John? Good. <laughs>